Well, it took a couple weeks, but the new muffler for the Ford 1700 tractor is now in from the incident that I had with a tree branch bending this current muffler back and, and splitting it at the elbow where it goes into the engine. So what I'm going to work on now is getting that old one off and getting this new one in. So the first thing to do is going to be to undo the wire ties that I have supporting that muffler and then get this hood up so that we can get some access. Instead of raising the loader, I decided to just remove the front crossbar for opening the hood so the loader can just stay down in this position. The loader arm here might be a little bit in the way, but I'd rather it be down and on the ground than up in the air and having my arms under it. So here you can see there's just a little bit of metal right here. That's all that's left holding this at all so this has actually been leaking exhaust and been pretty loud here for a couple weeks so the next step is going to be to disconnect the battery and that's important because if you can see down there that's the starter and all the wires and if i have a wrench you know accidentally make contact particularly with the positive cable there that would complete a circuit and that would be rather unpleasant. So I'm gonna disconnect the battery, starting with the negative and then the positive. So while doing it, I decided to clean up the terminals a little bit too. There was some corrosion toward the positive terminal here in particular. And then the battery retainer always seems to get a little bit on there as well. This battery is pretty old. In fact, last winter there were a couple instances where I had to jump start the tractor, but it's worked well all summer. But I'm guessing as soon as the temperatures start to change a little bit, I'm going to have trouble with this battery and may need to replace it. So next is gonna be removing this old muffler. There's four bolts and they're a half inch bolt. I don't know if they're original and that's the original size. A lot on this is metric. This is a Shibara engine, so made in Japan. The whole tractor actually is made in Japan. But this is the Shibara LE892 engine. So it may have originally had metric bolts there and now it's got standard half inch bolts or maybe it was always the half inch bolts. I'm not sure. There's a weird mix of metric and standard on this machine. But let's get those bolts out, get this muffler off and get the new one in place. So when I got this apart, it actually did not look the way I expected. We have this, what's almost like a spacer block. This side here was to the engine, this side to the muffler. And then on either side of that was one of these thin metal type gaskets. And I don't know if you can see this, but there's a, a bump up there that compresses against the engine on one side and against this block between it and the muffler on the other side. So that's interesting. Here is the new muffler. This is aftermarket. It's a Stanley Muffler F035. And looking at it next to the prior muffler, it is identical to this other muffler, which I also believe is an aftermarket muffler. Because in pictures I've seen of this tractor, instead of being cylindrical all the way down, it kind of goes oval down here, which would actually help it fit a little bit better next to the hood. The rounded muffler does impact the hood a little bit as soon as you get any little bit of bend on this elbow at all. This is the spot here on the side of the hood where that muffler can scratch. 
So let's go ahead and get this muffler installed on the tractor. There it is all back together. I'll hang on to that old muffler. In fact, if I run into this issue again, I may even see if that can get welded so that I've got a spare. It's hard to tell from video, but the top of that stack is actually above my head, probably about six, six off the ground, maybe even a little bit more than that. So it is a vulnerable point in terms of catching anything with that muffler because again it's bearing it all at the elbow where it goes down in and directly connects to the engine so with that i need to fill her up with diesel and this machine is ready to go